we're speaking with Anju Banerjee, Director of Maternal, Newborn, Child and Adolescent Health and Aging at the World Health Organization. We have a few questions for him around um, COVID-19 and how it's affecting women and their children, especially pregnant women. So we're gonna jump right in. Hi Anju, um, what are your biggest concerns for mothers and infants during this pandemic? It's important that um, mothers and women are able to get access to routine, routine services as well during the pandemic. So besides the fact that um, they have to take precautionary measures in order not to get infected with coronavirus, they should also ensure that they maintain their health, uh, their mental well-being, and also access services when they have to. What is your top advice for women who are pregnant, both early on in their pregnancy and about to give birth? They should take, uh, first of all, precautionary measures in order not to get infected with coronavirus. And so that means frequently washing of hands, uh, cleaning surfaces, um, cough etiquette or uh, respiratory etiquette. That means coughing either into a tissue and throwing it away and after that washing their hands or coughing into the uh, elbow in order not to infect other people as well. Uh, they should have also access to uh, the routine services that they require and um, in order to have a, um, a positive experience of their pregnancy. So um, thanks for answering the question about um, advice you would give to, to women who are pregnant. I'm wondering, should pregnant women have any concerns about um, their unborn baby, about transmission of the virus to their baby? As per the data that we have now from China, uh, there have been no cases of transmission from mother to their babies while pregnant, um, and neither have we found the virus in breast milk. For uh, suspects cases and for infected mothers who are breastfeeding, the recommendation is that they still continue to breastfeed their child if they can. Uh, it's important though that they have uh, the right kind of respiratory etiquette so that they, uh, if possible, wear a mask and also that they wash their hands before they touch their baby and that they wash their hands afterwards as well, uh, but they should continue breastfeeding. What is the emerging understanding of the impact of the virus on children and adolescents? In general, we know that children are less affected by coronavirus than adults, and in particular older adults who are, um, let's say, the most severely affected by this uh, pandemic. Uh, we know that for children under five, um, they have more chance in slightly more severe disease than in children between 10 to 19. But overall, children are less severely affected by the pandemic and by coronavirus than older adults. Thank you so much uh, for your time and we will look to you for updates as, um, as all of the knowledge progresses and we, and we know more.